Good morning, everybody. I wanted to show you guys my trip down the Sunrail this morning, and I'll show you guys my trip back too. But yeah, here's my station. This is what all the stations look like for the most part. A few are fancier, but I'm gonna show you guys these like ticket windows and how you're supposed to get on, get off, that sort of thing. I'm here like a half an hour early. I tried to get here and enough times to get on the first train that came out, but I got stopped by a school bus, so I was leaving early specifically so that I could film it, but now it doesn't, like, I just missed the train that I was hoping to get on. Now I'm just going to get on the next one. So as you can see right now, it says out of service because they are, uh, everything's free. But yeah, this is what you do is you, you go in and you buy, like, tickets or a card, whatever, and it passes out here, or you can, like, reload it on that thing. And then when you get on, you tap it here, and then when you get off, you tap it there again. And each one of those is, there's, there's, you know, a door at each one of these little, oh, yellow things. So... Yay! And it's actually kind of nice because it's going to be lighty on this trip, whereas like the last time, the last morning that I rode it, it was earlier and it was just dark, so I couldn't see anything. But I'm going to sit over on the sunrise side and show you guys the sunrise and everything out the window. They gave me a free newspaper this morning too. How nice. Ooh, Flexbus. I don't know what that is. I have to read about that one. Always beware of a second train coming. Obey all warning signals at pedestrian crossings and cross only at designated areas. Please remember to tap on to pay your fare before boarding Sunrail, and to tap off at your final destination. A southbound train is arriving at the station. Please stand behind the yellow safety line and hold on to young children. Please watch your step and mind the gap when boarding the train. This train is southbound for the Sand Lake Road Station. Siempre tenga cuidado con un segundo tren que viene. Obedezcan todas las señales de advertencia localizado en los pasos de peatones y crucen solamente en las áreas designadas. Por favor. I came into the bathroom. There's only one on the entire train, and it smells bad. cutest puppy good morning from the puppy hello hello I'm trying to do laundry and uh, I can't really keep that good of an eye on him when he's on the floor so I put him up here on the bed and cuteness ensued right little baby pup oh I think we, we should probably call him bitey because he bites a lot and his little puppy teeth are like razors so that's fun. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I think Bitey is the perfect name. Yes. I think we'll call this one Bitey. Look at that little puppy butt. Oh. Okay, here's where I didn't think it through. No biting the clothes. No biting the bed sheets. No. He's like, yeah, right. <laughs> Bandit's been following me around all morning. He just wants to get away from the puppy. You hate the puppy? Oh, I finally finished like all of the mess from the party. It took me a few days, but it's done doing the dishes, making some tacos for lunch. I have a feeling we'll be eating tacos for many, many days because we have a lot of taco stuff left over. So that's what I'm doing. Right, Bean? Oh, and laundry. Yes. And this little guy is trying to eat everything in the house. All the dogs are here. It's like a dog meeting. Right? Mm -hmm. I could watch him play with this Tupperware like all day. So cute. So the puppy found himself in the trash can. Oh no, but now you have to go look at yourself in the trash can again. Look, who's that in the trash can? Who is that? It was really cute, but I messed it up by filming. <laughs> what the heck? 
puppy. I was looking all over for the puppy because I was uh, making something to eat and he was hiding by the trash can. You were, you were hiding from me. You little cutie face. Oh my gosh, I just can't. So cute. Apparently that's his new home. <laughs> he loves the trash can. Cause he was looking, I tried to show you guys earlier, but he was looking at himself right here. Um, and of course when I turned the camera on, he like heard the noise, but it was so cute. He saw himself in the, in the like mirror. Aww. <laughs> This one looks packed full too. I already missed the first one because it was too full. Keep rearranging bikes. <laughs> Can you guys see all of the love bugs out and about right there? That is ridiculous. There's so many of them. So I'm finally in the car. It was a uh, long and arduous journey. I was hoping to have gotten home by, I don't know, five, wait, what time? Dang. I was hoping to have gotten home at 5.15 and it's now 6.03. Sweet. I should say the Sunrail is free for two weeks. So a lot of the people that are riding are just kind of joy riding, not really riding to commute. But at the same time, there are definitely a lot of people that are riding it to commute. And they all get on on the station ahead of mine. And they all take up all the space. So this is the first time I've actually been refused uh, admit, admittance onto a train. I've only ridden it twice, but today when I got into the station and the train came, which was uh, 15 minutes late, they said, sorry, the train's full. Nobody else is allowed on. So I got on the next one which was uh, on time for the next one, which is, but it's supposed to be a, a trailer train, meaning that that's like their backup train that they're running too. It's, um, I know that they're still working out kinks and it's much nicer than sitting in traffic and it's uh, wonderful not to have to pay for gas and I'm helping with the environment and everything. It's just, it's hard when everything's bad. Hello. You guys have been with us all day and then we like left and we went and we did that side job that we've been telling you guys about. And now it's 10.22 and we're just now heading home. So that is exciting. Excitement, Yay. yeah. But the good news was um, I took the camera with me to work and you guys got to see Sunrail and all kinds of other fun stuff and how literally annoying Sunrail is. But hopefully the people at Sunrail are gonna take note and like make some changes and like hop to, because that'll be good. Either that or uh, because it's free right now, They'll start charging and everybody's like, nah, it's cool. <laughs> Nobody will be riding it. So it'll be like running on schedule every day, perfectly. That's the plan. That's it. So I was thinking, we just passed by a piano gallery where they sell pianos. And how, uh, am I the only one out there that wishes I knew how to play piano and also wishes that I went crazy enough to drive a car into the front, like the storefront of a piano store, not during business hours, after hours. And then just that's less bad oh well, yeah because there's not going to be anybody in there it doesn't matter you can just drive your car into a building yeah you forget i've lost my mind already at this point <laughs> oh. so totally insane drive a car in the front of a piano store but not insane enough to do it during business hours right okay S sensibly insane okay um and then like just sit there playing a like a ding 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 like the great gatsby on the piano yeah while the cops come in and they're like harassing me and I'm playing like 20s flapper music. I think that's a terrible idea and I'm glad that you're not insane. Yeah. Oh God. Bandit, we forgot to film and now it's time to pay the price last night. Oh no. So here is our bandit tax for not telling you guys <laughs> good night, but good night. We hope you like the vlogs. Tim went to sleep and so did everybody else. Yay, and now it's time to pay the price of bandits.